Hi, everybody, and welcome to the second round of the National Invitation Tournament. Stay tuned, as this should be a good one between the Tulsa Hurricane and the Tennessee Volunteers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I think it's a major mismatch. You're talking about David versus Goliath. I mean, they got to go out and play with no fear. They can't be worried. The Volunteers should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. Number one, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Lastly, get your man on your hip after the shot. Lock out and get after those boards. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. The center handles the feed with the fake. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Here. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. That's just great hustle and great. He swatted everything out of the air. Including the other player. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 22 picks up the defensive foul. First team foul. With the freebie. Count it. Right now, I'm going to focus defensively. Has a nice look at the basket. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Inside, the power forward handles the pass. And in and out. They work it around the perimeter. Number 34 is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Red? He's getting it done. Point land. He buries the shot. Roll it back again. Fed the low block. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, stolen. Going. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Number five is receiving great praise from the fans. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. it up fronts him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us trying to pack it inside there's a bad pass right to the defender he'll regroup the offense looking for a good shot he puts up the three ball they scored eight in a row They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Inside. And he'll kick it back outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that pass. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He uses the shot fake. Number four receives the pass. He lets it go. He drains the bucket.
Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. And he's going to pick up the foul. And oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll go to the line. First shot, good. Gets two at the charity strike. Pushing that basketball. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Thinks about the shot. And there's a lazy pack. Blocks the shot. Gave it up. Number two steals the ball. He tries a jump hook. And he missed. Right in the circle. Goes up for two. A three prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. The ball goes out of bounds. They still don't score. And a momentary look from three-point land for two. In and out. The small forward receives the ball. The skip pass is picked off. Look at that spacing. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for gets the rejection. Boy, terrible execution on offense. What a great strip! Goes up for two. Easy one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket, not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brett. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two, doesn't go. the perimeter let's see if they can get a good shot this trip Tennessee are on a bit of a run let's see how long they can keep it on Brad Especially when they lead to layups.
Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? A couple of free ones. It's the first. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work the perimeter. He unloads. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Can't get the shot to go. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. They still don't score. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries for two. And off the mark. He'll kick it back outside. Pump fakes. Executes the baby hook. He forces another bad shot. That is not how you win ball games, Mr. Nestler. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, in this David versus Goliath matchup, the stronger team is capitalizing on the turnovers and lack of defense. Thanks, Aaron. Sinks it. Tennessee is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Both free throws go. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. They're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. That's 12 on answer. They're working around the perimeter. Fakes the shot. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's 
That's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Number four. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. At the line. Misses the free one. He takes the board. Picked off. Wide open for the shot. High post flashes for the opportunity. Puts it up, looking for contact. Number two makes the finger roll. Moving it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Leans in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Look at that spacing. He fires from long range. He shows the sweet touch. Good fake. Number 22. Subpar performance is just destroying his confidence. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. On the dribble, gives it up. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a bet. Rejects it. Off target. They work it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. Tennessee have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. The turn of fadeaway jumper. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Gave it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Now they work it around the perimeter. For two and in and out. Momentary look from three-point land. Jumps in. Gets it to fall. That's a seven-zip run. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 50. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Can't get the shot. I'm doing a racer. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team.
Tulsa are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Intercepted. For the bucket, drains the shot. For two, they still don't score. Working around the arc. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. From the top of the circle. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shot, Brad. On the inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artet just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And the ball goes out of play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They work the perimeter on the outside. He intercepts it. Looking at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of play. Oh, look at him sneering at the crowd. They won't like that one bit. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tennessee are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. There's the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Up fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Looking for a good shot. Down in the low block, trying to work inside. There's a double team waiting there. And they get the turnover. It's a fast break possibility. Trying to draw some contact. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Buries it home. the dribble gives it up looking for a good shot trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing takes away the pass let's see if they go two for one here Brad jumped in front to take it away he looks for three drains it
Number 34 takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Comes up short. With a long bomb. Goes up for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Bit of Rishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> At halftime, the Volunteers are up by 15. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. has made a statement by crashing the boards in the first half, Dick. Very, very strong statement. They're letting the opposition know that they're not going to give them any second chance opportunities. And that speaks volumes, baby. This is kind of what we expected, uh, Richard. You know, going into this ball game, we didn't expect it to be close in the first half, and it wasn't. I'll tell you what, David has really had a tough time against the Goliath. They have done a great job with Goliath coming out mentally focused and ready to perform. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The Hurricanes are behind by 15. They're working around the perimeter. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. That's a breakdown. That'll drive him towards Bananas. I'll be the loser here. Up and inside. There's the screen up on top. He unloads a three. Questionable shot selection there. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Jumps into the defender, way off target. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Fakes a jumper. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how a basket and the hard for the senior. He's got a big-time hard, baby. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get blown like I am. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. This BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. for a good shot and a momentary look from three-point land lets it fly off the rim and no good and
And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from long range. He hits it. Now they work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. Strip red. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And off the mark. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. And in and out. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook so effective. Takes the pass in the paint for two. In and out. Good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Goes. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They still don't score. They work it around the perimeter. The shooting guard in the paint. Nice hop. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. In spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They work the perimeter in the paint. Number four with a tomahawk slam. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow on the dribble gives it up working it around the perimeter number two draws the personal that one puts the personal in personal picks up the foul I tell you poor play defensively look at the facial expression I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon, NBA. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Strips the ball. 
Gave it up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. He beats him to the punch defensively and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he missed. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed. Moving it around the perimeter from three-point land. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. And he'll kick it back outside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Gave it up from beyond the arc. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say I'm a little surprised at how this one's turned it out. I definitely didn't expect this. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high rising. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. This school is known for football. It's great to see that the basketball program is now getting some of that attention. And their football program has been successful over the years, but Hoops is making a name for itself. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dumping inside. Looking for the foul. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Goes up for two. You betcha. Up and inside. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Whatever's left in the tank needs to be used, Dick, and it needs to be used right now. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. On the inside, for the bucket, doesn't go. Steal, go up 
the other way, get a layup. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Looking for contact. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. Thanks, Aaron. For two. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. The Volunteers have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He goes for three. Off the rim and no good. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Turnaround jumper, way off target. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Comes back out from the post. Blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. He shoots from left of the circle. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's the trap. Number 34 with the steal. Goes up for two. And off the mark. For the bucket. Makes it. Team now, bad angle. Can't get the shot to drop. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. Now working around the arc. Ten seconds on the clock. Number 22 makes a great move to draw the foul. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, Mr. Nussler, that's a no-no. At the free throw line. Opportunity. First one, good. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. Look at that spacing. Got an open look if he wants it. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's money with the shot. Here's a double team. On the outside. He lets it go. The Golden Hurricanes have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Moving it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That kid's making him think about every shot, Dick. And he's doing it without fouling, which is the key. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets it to go. Mm -hmm. 
They work the perimeter. Defense giving some room. From right at the circle, off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He nails the bucket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Way off target. Gave it up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Wears up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Picks off the pass. And we got a whistle and a foul. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the trifecta. Dickey's taunting the crowd. What in the world is next? Will not like this. Hey, Brown, I guess he's having fun out there. The crowd obviously doesn't frighten him one bit. He intercepts it. Timeout's call. And it goes to us just talking about how they're going to overcome this big deficit. to the action here after the timeout. On the outside. He attempts the trifecta. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Dumps it in. There's a double team waiting there. Takes away the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. crowd and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. The lead is six. Here in this place to go absolutely bananas. I can feel it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. This start the bus moment, courtesy of our good friends at State Farm. Don't waste a lot of time. Fall right away. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. I gotta be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. It looks like they're gonna slow the game down by foul. Continue to foul to stop the clock. Brown, I think he'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Foul, and that stops the clock again.
He goes to the free throw line. Doesn't go. They really need a score here to turn this into a one possession game. Timeout's been called. So let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick? You never know what's coming, Brad. We've got ourselves a dandy here, folks. The lead has been trimmed to four. Cross court. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They just keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ball game. I'll tell you one thing, it's all about winning, it's all about executing, and getting to the locker room with the W, and that's what they were able to do. Survive and win. Tennessee comes away with a win. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.